if it's July, it must be Christmas, or at least our annual Christmas in July challenge. Hello, everybody. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And this is day eight of our annual Christmas in July challenge. The last thing you want to think about now is Christmas. I understand that. But our annual Christmas in July is a great time to start stocking up on your supplies for Christmas. You can easily spend less than half what you have in previous years on gifts, on gift wrap, tape, tags, bows, non-perishable food and drinks and all the other Christmas supplies just by purchasing them six months early. So here are some of my top tips for saving on Christmas goodies in July. Number one, only buy non-perishable items. I know you think it would be a no-brainer, but I have to say, only buy non-perishable items. Gift items that contain foods that are perishable should be avoided or remove the perishables and replace them before the gift's given. Number two, check the stores regularly to see how prices are trending. Right now, they're all over the place. So this is where you need to keep a track. You could even just have a Christmas price book if that will help you. Big department stores typically have their toy sales on now and they offer great deals on toys and sometimes a longer lay-by time, which is really good for keeping the presents out of the house. Don't think however, that there won't be other sales before Christmas because there will be and prices will be possibly even better. Now, use this to your advantage and let the bigger items on your gift list come down in price before you buy them. Tip three, another no-brainer, shop with a list. Look at how much wrapping paper and tape you used last year. How many tags did you go through? How many gifts do you need to buy? If you are um, having a handmade Christmas, what ingredients do you need to buy? What materials do you need to, to get so that you can make those things on your list? Take stock now of how many supplies you used and follow this as a guide for replenishing your supplies for Christmas 2021. Tip number four, invest in storage for your purchases, for your gifts, for your decorations, for your wrapping, for your treats. Now, when I say invest, I don't mean race out and buy things. But you're only going to benefit from the purchase of all these Christmas supplies if you keep them stored properly for the next six months. So you can invest in storage containers, a wrapping paper, storage bin, or general plastic boxes if you want to. Or you can recycle cardboard boxes or styrofoam boxes from, and they're free for most fruit and veg shops. Um, the boxes that printer paper come in are really good for storing things. Just whatever you choose, just make sure that everything you buy is sealed up properly. It's nice and tight and protected before you put it in the box. It has to sit there for six months. Tip five, strive to buy only what you'll use. Now I use this example all the time, but it's effective. Buying 10 tins of smoked oysters in tomato sauce, even if they are just 20 cents a tin, is a complete not a waste if you only use one tin over the holiday period. But stocking up on dried fruit when it comes out on sale, and it's usually hmm, starts to come down about October, late September, October. If you make a dozen cakes and puddings, that's a great idea. The fruit will be used before it has a chance to get lost at the back of the pantry or, or candy. So that's a good investment. Avoid overbuying simply because you're saving money or not spending as much on something. 
Otherwise, it's simply a waste of your time, your energy, your money, and it defeats the purpose of buying on a discounted price. And actually, this applies to all your shopping, not just your Christmas shopping. Right. Number six, skip items that aren't marked down. You don't, you know, if you don't need to pay full price. By starting now, you have time to shop around and wait for the specials. You have time to wait for the sales. You have time to see things marked down. Now, from late September, snacks and soft drinks and that sort of thing will be on sale because of grand finals, footy grand finals. There's no rule that says you can't pick up those things and put them in your Christmas treat box or your Christmas hamper box. Baking needs, like the dried fruits I mentioned, baking paper, butter, they start to come on sale hmm, very late September, early October for baking. And then from November, it's like junk food bargain day, isn't it? I shouldn't say that. But the chips, the soft drinks, the chocolates, these gift baskets, all the, the treats and things that we would have for once a year, the pretzels and really yummy things come on sale regularly. So don't buy them now unless you know they're an extra good deal. Look, it may seem silly at first to plan for next Christmas now in July, but you can save a bundle of money and a whole lot of stress by planning now and getting ahead. Get your Christmas supply uh, shopping done now and you can sit back and relax in December. You have one less thing to worry about and fret over when the heat's overwhelming, the crowd's overwhelming, and chances are nothing that you want will be available. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July challenge or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please click the share button underneath me here and it will send them a link to this program. I'll be back tomorrow with another, sorry, I'll be back tomorrow with another great idea for Christmas in July brought to you by the Chiefskates Club.